Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone, welcome back, it is day 43 I think, pretty sure it's day 43. Yes, sir, we did some agility training and got caught by a PK at the end of the session, however we did, wow I only got 6 Renar seeds, we did manage to get away, which was nice because we had about 600k in the looting bag. So, it would have been a bit shit if we didn't get away. Do we have a dig? We do, but we need a ferox. Today, I, th I think I'm going to go back. I'm on a good time again. The worlds are quiet right now, and we were right on the cusp of a level. We we're about to hit 59. If we could get 59 and then also get to 60, I reckon the amount of tickets we'll have at that point will get us to 61. And then we're just one level away from the quest requirement and we won't have to worry about it anymore. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm going to just go back today and try and get two levels. Try and get up to 60 from where we We only need 4k for the next level, so that should be okay very easily and quickly. And fingers crossed we don't see any PKers today. And if we do, we'll just get out like we did last time. All being well. Surely we don't get hit two days in a row. Oh my gosh, that was a beautiful yield. 12, we got 12 Renards. That was almost as much as the first two. That was the first two, was 14, and then we got 12 from the third. That's crazy. Give me more 12s. What the fuck is that? An 8. I didn't want an 8. What are you playing at? Oh no, a dead one? That's even worse. Okay, I'm not complaining about eights. I'm not complaining about eights anymore. And the price of these seeds has gone up again. Should have bought more of them when they were lower. I mean, it could just be the time that I'm online as well, but we didn't get the 22k ones that we put an offer in overnight for. It was like 22 and a half. Another nice quick farm run though. Seven minutes. Starting to become the standard for both burbs, herbs and staffs. Okay, I'm going to take this offer off and put one in at like 24k. Oh, that was the default asking price as well. That reassures me. I mean, it's lower than the current selling price, but I'll take it. I never remember what food I've got. Have I got bass? Not much. I don't want to spend like karambons and shit, because we get free food while we're there anyway, that's the thing. Guess I could use wines. Wines are fine. Okay, I think we've got everything, so I'm gonna stop dallying. On down to the party place. Pray we don't get preyed on today. Oh, there is someone here though. I think I'd rather be on my own. Okay, pit. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, we had to tag it once. I guess we finished a lap and then went straight out without tagging it. Okay, that was a an actually helpful warning message for once. Okay, so I think we did 43 laps yesterday. Ideally, we want to get over 100 tokens so we can get the most value out of them. But that kind of depends on us not getting interrupted and also not making any mistakes. So today's episode might be a little bit of a shorter one. I know yesterday was a bit of a longer one, mainly due to being caught by that person. Fingers crossed this is more chill and it is a shorter episode. My gosh, that's the third fail in a row on this obstacle. And there is the 59 agility. Luke coming in so far has been average. 
not great. It's it's not great at the first tier, honestly. The first tier is pretty damn bad. But we got 64k in the bag. And we've done seven laps rewarded, so I suppose it's not too far under 10k a lap, if you think about it. I haven't been given any supers yet. I keep making space for a super store. Just had this one though, so that I brought it with me. I should probably always like keep one when I sell up, but hopefully we won't be here too many more days anyway. Never lucky. Oh, we did get a blighted super, but it went into the bag. The extra was a uh, angler, so it would have been nerd. The super. I think I'm just gonna have to start dropping the line. Don't wanna get my prayer too low, and until we've got one super, I think we just have to drop line. One super will last. I'd prefer to have two in case we do get hit again. Just having that extra one on me yesterday, like it got used as far as I remember. We were pretty much out by the time we got to the bank. Maybe I had like one bite of a pie left. So I'd prefer to have two on me even, but just not getting them. Maybe you don't in the first tier, I can't remember. I just thought the, the extra thing could have been anything no matter what. And those wines disappear quick. Every lap I'm doing, the wine has disappeared by the time I come back. Does stuff disappear quicker in the wilderness? I think it's already gone. How? Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to turn preserve off as well till I get one. We've got plenty of summer pies. Well, that was our 15th lap, so we are now on the better tier, at least. Or oh, the middle tier, I should say, for us. Rune Kite Shield, four Blighted Supers, but all in the pouch, still not one in the invent. I think we're gonna drop like all of the food we brought, which kind of sucks, but there's no way you teleport into level 40 wilderness of 150k and no food in your invent. Let's actually check the back now. Up to 180k. We are in the green. Finally! Thank you. Thank you. I'm still going to drop to try and get a second because I really would feel more comfortable against a potential PK with it. But yeah, I'll, I'll stop dropping the food once we've got rid of the bass and the wine. Maybe it's just wines that disappear quickly because this pie dish is still here that I dropped on the last lap, which makes no sense. Yeah, the wine I just dropped disappeared before this pie dish. There's something weird going on with wine in this ag agility course, or maybe it's anywhere in the world that I honestly don't know. don't know that much enough about the wildy to, to say. Yeah, look how fast that bass is going down. Maybe it's food. Maybe it's just food that disappears quick, so you can't, like, drop food for somebody to pick up real quick. Yay, we got a second one. Let's go. What? Oh, I fucked up. I missed, I messed up a lap. Damn, I don't know what I did wrong. I did fail something, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was here. I was reorganising my invent and I totally didn't think about it. Okay, let's not do that again. I don't really need to drop food anymore. I suppose it makes space for better food, but I'd rather that just go into the bag as extra node supplies. According to the tracker, we are due to get to 60 if we don't get interrupted. 24 minutes is what it's expecting, so it's within our time today. Okay, I failed the rope swing. Repeat the rope swing. Bag over 300k, starting to look juicy. Slowly but surely approaching the next tier of loot. Okay, that was the last lap of tier 2 loot. We're up to tier 3 now, from this lap onwards. Looting bag up to 404k at the minute. And a rune chain body for the trouble on our first tier 3 lap. Now's when the money actually starts to come in. Hopefully we don't get cut off early from our tier 3 farming. Because these laps matter so much more than the first 30. Every tier you jump up is quite a significant difference. And yesterday we got to do like 10 laps in this tier before somebody got on us and we had to leave. Whereas the first time I think we did like... 55 60 laps maybe we were approaching 60 on the first time when we didn't get pk'd and the extra money is going to be nice too it's going to help buy us better melee gear oh a pk huh? he moves a hop he's pg'd i'm hopping hopefully he doesn't follow me 
I swear, if he just hops in now in that same spot, it's making me nervous. No way we just lost laps. It's saying my streak is nine. What the fuck? Did that just reset my... How is it nine? That just reset my counter hopping. Oh my gosh, I did not realise that. I knew if you logged out, it did, but I didn't realise hopping countered. Oh, wow. That's bad. That means we're going to be getting shit loot for the rest of the day. Oh, no way. Okay, we're, well, we're close to tier two. It didn't reset all the way, but we're not going to be in tier three. And I was just saying how important it is to be in that third tier. For fuck's sake, fuck whoever that guy was for hopping in and sitting there and being sculled. Just saying how nice the profits were. How much did it go down by? It must have been like 20, because it took us to 9. It must have been like 25, maybe. Is it really 25 laps that you lose? 25, yeah, you lose 25 if you log out inside the course. 25 laps from your streak. And hopping your counts is logging out, apparently. I mean, it makes sense because you go into a different server, but it sucks for this. Well, loot's not going to be as nice as we would like it to be today, folks, but hopefully the XP rates can still be maintained. 12 minutes away, according to the current tracker. That is the reason we're here at the end of the day. At the very least, we're getting solid agility XP. I suppose hopping's preferable to having to leave the course and losing your whole fee, but definitely going to be more hesitant to try and hop away. I'd rather wait for them to hop away if they're not moving like that last guy wasn't. As soon as he moved, I could have hopped, but I didn't need to do it preemptively when he was just sat there. I could have just sat there myself, although that's not good for our efficiency. It's good for the lifespan. Okay, we are back into tier two loot now from this lap on. And as if we were already almost done 200 laps of this course in like the four days that I've come here. That feels like a, a high lap count for something that I literally never thought in my life I'd do before they updated it. That is our 200th overall lap. We'll probably just get back into tier 3 loot today, but only by one or two laps of it. Not ideal. If we hadn't hoped, we would have probably broken to broken 60 today so i reckon we can get eight nine more laps in so we would have been on tier four loot for the first time ever for like one or two laps maybe without that hop which is a shame because that would have been nice to see i mean it, it probably wouldn't have been anything amazing it's just like more of the same good stuff just better tiers every time it's like goes up from myth to add to rune is the most simple way of putting it there is 60 agility though, 1300 total level coming in hot. We got 28k to go to the next level, so we're a bit away. But if we get to 100 tickets, 101 tickets even, that's 23,000 XP. And to get that, we need 60. So if we can get six more laps in, we've got 23k. That might be, with six more laps worth of experience, about right to get us to level 61. I mean, we're only one level away, which I'll be buzzing about because that was basically the goal that I outlined for the day, irrespective of how much money we've made and how much money we could have made if we'd been on the better tier. Because, yeah, the bag ain't looking too hot. I mean, we still made, like, 600k today, providing we get this out, but I feel like it could have been closer to somewhere between 1 and 1.5 mil. Maybe I'm being overly generous there, but I feel like it could have been. All right, this is our first lap back on the tier three loot now. Hopefully we should get better rewards from these last few. Okay, that is our 100th ticket, or 101st ticket, which is what you need. You have to be over 100. So we can turn in for 23,230 XP. That won't quite get us there though, but I reckon if we do two more laps, you get more than 500 XP per lap because it's 500 just for the completion bonus. Two more laps and it should be enough, so I am just going to try and squeeze them in here before we dip for the day. Oh no, if fails happen, it's not going to happen. 
Oh my gosh. Yep, it's not gonna happen. Never mind. I, mean, I didn't need to repeat that. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, let's just make sure we get safely out because we're not gonna have time to get the tickets back here anyway. We've only got a minute on the clock. It is time to go. We'll just tag this. Oh, I did leave this a bit close. I swear if these webs screw me over and I get stuck logging out like. Okay, we're safe. Let's see what's in the bag. About 800k. We got law rune meds today. Law rune meds. Let's have a proper lucky. We've got 102 tickets. We got a medium clue that I completely forgot about. I'm sure we'll do that soon enough. We got blighted supers by the 48. Yeah, we, we made about 800k. So, well, minus 150 for the entry fee. So we made about 600 to 650k even with the hop cutting severely into our profits it would be cool to see what we would get without that hop coming in but 102 tickets there is going to get us very very close to 61 how much do we need for 62 we'd need about 30 more k after that so one more day and we are done with agility i'm not saying that's going to be tomorrow but one more day finishes our agility for sure because we're going to get 101 tickets turned in 102 even i can't be able to do the math right now we're almost done with agility that's the point and we made some cracking profits on the way cash stack not looking too high at the minute but there's a fair bit in the ge that hasn't sold or bought we've got 17 renar seeds and that today's renar weeds to sell these to buy so that's like a mill in the ge plus the 1.5 we've got here and the seven and a half in miscellaneous and all this that we haven't sold yet so that's like an extra 800k there right so i guess we'll look at the xp tracker we did get 35k today we did get slightly less hunter than usual because we didn't end up doing the second birdhouse run but that's fine we got 35k in agility plus built up those tickets so about another 15k worth in the tickets there very solid day from the agility training really nothing to complain about i'm glad we didn't get hit again i'm bummed that we'd lost 25 laps but at least now we know now for any future trips there do not hop if you can avoid it and yeah that's about it look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow to see what we get up to because i never really know until i sit down to record and then i'm like okay i should do this today i think i need to go eat something before i edit this because my stomach has been rumbling at me through today's session there's not much more to say other than look after yourself be lovely to one another and i'll see you on the next one